Hey everybody, welcome to the Soap Thing Project, or if you've been here before, welcome back. We're going to do a Valentine's Day shave today. We're going to use Sterling Shadow Orchid. And this is a dupe of Tom Ford Black Orchid. We'll talk more about the scent more during the shave. But Sterling does choose to make a tallow based soap. We got beef tallow, glycerin, shea butter, coconut milk, and lanolin as some of the high quality ingredients in this. And this is 5.8 ounces, usually for just south of $14, $13.95 usually. Uh, they have announced that their prices are going to tick up slightly due to supply chain issues if they haven't ticked them up already. So do keep that in mind. But I think they're going to be uh, still pretty reasonable nonetheless. So Sterling Shadow Orchid. Got the matching aftershave splash that we're going to apply to the face after the shave. The razor is going to be the Razor Rock Mamba 70, and this is in 316 stainless steel with the slim heritage inspired handle. And these usually go for low 60s, or excuse me, high 60s, low 70s in US dollars for those who are curious. We're going to try a Gillette Nasset blade in this razor. I've never tried this particular blade in this razor, so we're going to give it a try. And the brush is from Mojo Handcrafts, and this is Deep Purple with Pearl and Galaxy Ghost Purple. It's got a 26 millimeter Maggard SHD Badger fan on the top of it, so we're going to use that for the brush. Let's do it! in some ProRazo white into about 28-ish hours growth and that looks exactly like this ProRazo white with the green tea and oat scent and then we have the Sterling Shadow Orchid lathered into the uh, Hendrix Classics and Company bowl and this brush does like to ingest lather so there might not look like much in there but it might be a little deceiving because it's all sitting in here so let's put it on the face scent strength on this once lathered is about a two out of five did i overhydrate this a little bit Hmm. 
think I did. It's not going on nearly as thick as I usually prefer. We can get this, work this in a little bit. No. All right, well, let's go back and re-lather. Okay, we just applied a new layer of pre-shave. We're in the process of putting uh, a new lather on the face. I think I really overhydrated it that time, so I just added some more soap and re-lathered, and there's no reason for you to see another lather video. But since strength on this, if I didn't mention it already, it's about a two out of five once lathered, so definitely not a screamer, but perfectly acceptable scent strength. All right. Now let's talk about the scent of this while we shave with it. I'm gonna put my cheat sheet up on the tripod while we talk about it. I've been using my cheat sheet a lot more lately. Okay, why don't we start up here? Hmm, that's pretty smooth. <laughs> a lot smoother than I thought it would be. Usually Nassets are rough when I try to shave with them, but this feels like a million bucks. Now, Sterling Shadow Orchid. Notes on this are, Amber, black pepper, truffles, orchid, chocolate, vanilla, incense, and patchouli in this. And you're probably thinking, well, that sounds pretty feminine. Uh, not so fast. It's, uh, I think this could swing uh, one of two ways without any trouble at all. It's definitely unisex fragrance in my personal opinion, as was uh, Tom Ford Black Orchid was intended to be. So this is dark and sweet floral. It's got some chocolatey notes. It's really, really rich, to be honest with you. Um, the biggest takeaway for this, at least for me, uh, is that it's a lot darker than you might expect. If you're not used to uh, dark floral scents, and you've smelled a lot of other floral scented soaps, this might uh, be off-putting to you because it's really quite dark. It's slightly peppery, but mostly what I get is this uh, sweet floral and kind of I'm adding more water. I'm probably going to be ashamed of myself for doing that, but we'll see if it can hold it this time. Just dip the tips of the brush in the water. But it's got this dark chocolate sort of vibe. Maybe chocolate isn't the right word, but it's definitely this dark sweetness and uh, really deep and rich kind of sweet floral. Uh, the fact that it's dark, very dark, is what makes it unisex, in my personal opinion. And this just feels like butter. I'll tell you what. Between this and the soap, uh, I mean, Sterling is pretty slick stuff. This, this feels like an amazing combination. I've tried Nassets and a lot of razors, and they just hack me up, with the exception of the... Uh, Charcoal Goods Everyday Razor, and, and now this. I mean, maybe I've used it in this razor before, but I don't remember. It's If I have, it's been a long time. So, fellas, I hope you're taking your wife or girlfriend out on this Valentine's Day to a nice dinner, or at the very least flowers or chocolates or something and if you don't shame on you me i'm taking my wife to burger king <laughs> you 
serious? I'm obviously joking. That would be idiotic. Uh, I'm taking her to this place called uh, Twisted Tree. Which has uh, quite a few dollar signs next to the name. I, I think everybody should do that at least once in their life if you can find room in the budget for it. Because the place that we're going is like a $50 a plate dinner. But the thing about it is I do that with my wife. I'm going to lather a third time down here. Everywhere else seems like it's good to go. Every time I take my wife to a very expensive restaurant, which I do a couple times a year, uh, usually you get what you pay for. So, uh, some of the best food I have ever tasted in my life was at award-winning restaurants that were very expensive. I'm talking 50 60 $70 a plate, and you're not walking out of there without spending... 150 bucks. Again, I, I just try it once. I'm telling you, the food, like they put so much thought and effort into the seasoning and the, the taste and how long they cook it. And just every detail has had thought behind it. And it, it's just fascinating to see and experience at least once in your life. I know not everybody is in that kind of tax bracket. And I'm not either, otherwise I would do it more often. But just once, I'm telling you, it is a phenomenal experience that everybody needs to try just once. Not that I need an excuse to show my wife how much I love her. But it's nice to know I have one. Okay, let's rinse. Grab my towel and let's do a rinse. Got a sink full of cold water, by the way. I'm a cold water shaver for those who are not aware. Oh, dang, another Nick Free shave. I'm on a roll, I'm telling you. Okay, let's do an off-camera alum block, and then we'll come back for the aftershave. Okay, off-camera, I used my Omega alum block on the face, and I got feedback right through here, and everywhere else was good to go. So I'd call that a pretty good uh, alum block if I do say so myself. That means I, between the razor and my shaving habits, I did okay. Mostly it comes down to how you use your, your equipment. Sterling Shadow Orchid Aftershave. Let's put some on. See if we get any burning out of this. Nope. I did good today. And the uh, aftershave is much, much more fragrant than the, than the soap is. It is night and day. So, let me wipe this off real quick. And now my final thoughts on, where'd it go? My final thoughts on Sterling Shadow Orchid. If I exhausted this to an empty tub, would I buy it again? Oh. Yes. Yes, I would. And uh, here's why. Uh, I like to have a shaving soap for every holiday I can think of just because I'm crazy. And I think uh, I don't need too many shaving soaps for this particular holiday, so Sterling Shadow Orchid is definitely gonna be my standby for shaving on this day of the year. Uh, I, have sm I have smelled Tom Ford Black Orchid, and it is uh, fairly close. I wouldn't say this is the all-time sort of dead-on accurate representation of black orchid, but it's close enough. It's it's a good scent, and uh, one of the few from Sterling that I like. I think about half the soaps I have from Sterling, I'm not too crazy about them, but the other half are good to go. Absolutely phenomenal, and the uh, performance on this soap is great. 
there's nothing really to write home about. It's not amazing, but you will not get a bad shave with this if, if I can lather it right. Usually it's pretty easy to lather this, so good performance, uh, good lather quality. It is good stuff. So that'll be the shave for today. I want to thank everybody for watching, and until next time, this is Soap Thing telling you, shave like you mean it. Thanks for watching.